Good morning. It's day seven in the back country. It's Monday, August 1st, and it's town day. Yay! Woo! <laughs> so we have about a, it actually got cold last night. It was like 40, um, 40 degrees. So it's warmed up to like 45 now, and the sun hasn't hit our campsite yet, but. The bugs are out. The bugs are out, so we're gonna get moving. <clears throat> we got about a five or six mile walk to the trailhead. Then it's like a two hour drive into town. And based on, we're staying at the same hotel, the Hampton Inn and Pinedale. And last Monday, we couldn't actually check in until three. So hopefully we can check in a little earlier today. But if not, we'll just have to hang out somewhere with Wi-Fi, probably that brewery. Um, so that's it for now. We're gonna get moving and get away from these mosquitoes. We made it almost back to the car, back at the trailhead. Um, I think that was the buggiest hike yeah. coming down. I mean, I almost wanted to put Deed on at some point just cause it was extra buggy or it seemed like. So I don't know what that was all about, but it's nice to be back to the car. Actually the trailhead, it's like what, 10 o'clock I think? The trailhead was really popping. A lot of people getting ready to head in. So, um, we were just saying there's like a lot of turnover here a lot of cars coming and going all the time which is cool um looking forward to a shower and some town food and maybe some cold beer or and some wi-fi to get these things uploaded um but first things first back to the car we still have a long drive just to get back to pinedale just because of the dirt roads so it'll be a nice leisurely drive and we'll take it from there, but really, um, yeah, really cool backpacking trip. Our first time here and really liked it. Maybe we'll uh, go over some highs and lows later. Yeah, maybe next time we'll come in August. Fewer mosquitoes. Yeah, I think no matter where you go, like in July, you're gonna have the bug issue. Yeah. So it's just a matter of picking. But last night's campsite was great. It was yeah. almost <laughs> bug free. This morning they were out in force, but Last night was great, so it was nice to have that last night at least. And, you know, we'll see what it's like um, in Yellowstone. We'll be car camping for a few nights before we head into the backcountry. Um, we had a couple CDT hikers going in. I guess they were they were running late. They were way late. They had some illnesses. But they were asking us about the fires. Which we did see some haze this morning, so it'll be interesting to get online and... See where the fires are. Yeah, and I remember like Grand Teton, it was hazy the yeah. one day. Looked like smoky from fire. We haven't like smelled any fires. No one else is. No, which we've done before in Yellow or in uh, Yosemite when we knew there were fires. Yeah, you could definitely, you definitely know when there's fire nearby because that smoke just really permeates everything. And we have not had any of that here. No. Um, so hopefully they can continue without having to deal with that as well. But that's just part of through hiking. You gotta deal with stuff like that. Our car, it's so close. I think it's the silver one right there. I think we'll uh, sign off here 
and we will check in later in the day. We're just leaving Big Sandy on the road and all of a sudden I spotted all these little things moving and it's a huge flock of sheep. Let's see if we can get close. Oh, there we go. Can you hear them ba? They're like even in the road. Free range sheep. In Glacier, near Glacier, we've seen free range cows, but never this many sheep. So quickly, I think we also see a little tent here with the sheep. So I'm wondering if on the Bureau of Land Management, the um, farmers can like get grazing rights. So I'll stop this video and get another one of the little tent. See, I don't know if I scroll in, you can see the sheep in the tents there. So it'd be interesting to do a little research on this.